Welcome back to the channel to Satisfactory guys, this will be episode 33, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, as you can well see, I deleted that ugliness from there. Now, all of it is um, working just fine. 75 nuclear waste are coming in here, 25 are going in there. Everything is nice and balanced. We are making uh, those 0.5 plutonium fuel rods in here and sink them. Um, I've put down the machinery, they're still backed up because this game has been running for like five six hours i don't know yet i don't know i have no idea but you can see in here the phase four it's almost completed so missing what 64 of this i think we're making like 2.5 per minute so in about 25 minutes half an hour those will be done which is just amazing uh needless to say our nuclear power plant it's working just great we don't have any excess uh, of uh, fuel waste this guy has 8 in it this guy has 23 in it whatever it's working just fine I have no backups uh, of course these guys are full because that line was empty you know well, I mean we finished the uranium waste that was in that container in there uh, and then we only these guys were using only the 100 in here so they were working at a normal rhythm even though they were overclocked these guys in the back all of them were overclocked these guys as well so yeah we produced way more than we need so they kind of filled up right now but um, they will work just fine Okay, so we're doing everything how it should be done. I triple checked all the quantities, everything is just amazing. Everything is nice and good. Life is beautiful. Let's get back to our base. Power is looking amazing as well. So capacity 24,000. Uh, apparently I have a problem with my capacity in there. Maybe I should check those uh, fuel majigis in there. Because I think one of them has an issue. And I think I know which one. The one which is with the rubber. It's a got a feeling I didn't quite uh, make made it perfect in there. And it's lacking some fuel. One or two couple of generators keep switching off. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We are 3,942 out of 4,000 magnetic field generators. Is gonna be soon over. Everything will be done. We will be able to send the phase four up. And uh, unfortunately, this is gonna end this game because, as you well know, the story has not been invented yet or implemented yet. So, yeah, looking forward to have the story. Uh, so this is like my fourth playthrough. I'm still enjoying it. I was thinking of dropping uh, here, no here in this part, in this desert, and putting in there a base because I never started in that area. I started twice in the grasslands. I started once in here, uh, twice in here in the desert once by myself uh, and now with you guys uh, once we started like in the middle of the map something like that but I would like very much to start in that area because the biome is totally different in here it's very beautiful nevertheless not a lot of good spots to start so I'm looking for some something like this you know pure iron Perfect, we got two of them. Pure iron, another two of them. Pure limestone. This one is impure. You see, you don't have copper pure nearby. Um, so, it's normal and impure. It's pretty far. I would have liked them to be closer 
in here, if I'm going in here, I might as well go directly at Kibitz's place, you know, because why not? Uh, we started one day, uh, one playthrough in there as well. One of my other playthroughs wasn't here because this is a wonderful spot to be in. You got in here, basically if it, with everything that you need. This one is pure copper, uh, a bunch of limestone. It really doesn't matter if it's pure or not because you got four of them. And one of them is more than enough, let's be serious. And you got a bunch of pure iron. And I mean a bunch, you got six nodes. And this stuff, what you got in here, can carry you all the game. So I'm thinking about this part, but I'm thinking about this part as well. Basically what I wanna do is drop somewhere. I still don't know where and make a mega factory because that's been one of my dreams but I never did it until now if I start doing it now in this world it will be like cheating because I'm already at max tech, tech so no point in doing it uh, grasslands is nice but not a lot of resources um, what I would like is to put it like in the middle of the map. This is the middle of the map in here. Uh, Bumble Forest, the red one. But as you see, not a lot of resources. So, logically speaking, uh, this high trees in here are good. You can start in this area. But... I don't know. The terrain is harsh, you cannot build it very well unless you get above the trees. I don't think that's a good thing in the start. Plus, until here, in here, limestone, copper and iron, a lot of valleys, a lot of trees, really hard terrain, not for the starting of the game. So I'm thinking, best way to start, it's keep its place, we already did that or in here i really like this spot i would like to go in here and start the gameplay in here and build a mega factory oh my god it's night time already amazing so yeah let's see how far are we can i make my way in there it's gonna take a half one of, of eternity to get in there Next to our other minimum factory. Let me make my way in there. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Because we still have some time. We are at uh, what 3,900, almost 60. Uh, I think it will be way faster if I go with our train there. Oh, hi, buddy. Let's just make our way with the train. And I'll tell you my plan. Meet you guys in there. I just can't get enough of this animation, you know, so beautiful. Punk for you. Here we go. So I will not uh, take control of this train, we'll let him go by himself. Man, you gotta love the scenery, especially early in the morning. It's just amazing, you can see that planet with the rings, all that so-called fog in there. It's looking amazing. The desert is a really beautiful place to be. Not a lot of vegetation, nevertheless you got plenty of resources around here that you can scavenge for. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. So yeah, uh, I want to build a mega factory up in the air. But no way I'm putting it on the ground. We're gonna have something like pillars supporting it, a huge base, and we're gonna work on levels. I want to have the platform down below. Here is the problem with the generators uh, stopping. Uh, the platform down below, I want it to be with base 
resources, ingots that is. Okay, and starting from the second level up, we will expand it and start building. So, a million boxes with all the prime materials for each phase, let's say. It's, well, it's around here somewhere, that thing. That spot, there is. Um, second uh, level, more complicated materials, third level, you know, more complicated materials, so on and so forth. This copper line comes from that pure node that it's in that area in there, so we can follow it without an issue. I mean, the scenery in here is just amazing. It's totally different than the desert, looking beautiful used to be pretty dangerous before you were able to uh, put the creatures on passive now it's just really easy so yeah this is the spot in here there is the limestone uh two more limestone in there there's a pretty big flat spot in here that you have it's amazing let me get it to fly mode oh this is pure iron that is pure iron you also have in here limestone in here there are two more iron pure that guy and that guy that one needs to be exploded but totally different story the copper is just around the corner so imagine start the base it's amazing that one pure 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 everything is pure yeah you got the gatherium two normal nodes or impure i don't know just in here around the corner we are using them for the assembly directed system as it is right now let me just get in here i don't remember exactly where they are oh here they are i said oh here they are but they're not in here oh here they are <laughs> so this one it's a normal that one it's a normal if you want more you got a pure node up on the cliff in there the one we grabbed you can see the moth all the time because it's passing right next to you in here so it's just amazing um for the other resources i don't remember i think silica was kind of far but other than that it's pretty easy you got some coal for the start right down next uh, to keep its place where we put our directory assembly factory in there there are a few nodes so it's pretty close we are here those nodes are right in here you can see them one two three four and this one as well that one is pure this one will be good to have for our steel needs and this for could provide a lot of power for the beginning after that once you get out of this place well you could go in here but in here you don't have enough water for these guys i not sure you can make it work but it is possible you got one more in here that you're gonna need for steel or even better for the aluminum exactly like we have it right now set up so it's pretty close to the base uh I don't know i already showed you these guys oh sulfur is just in here you got two normal in here another one quartz it's in here pretty far but you got two pure nodes actually it's not pretty far you can walk until there let's be serious the oil it's up north in here those two are pure the other ones are not a normal impure whatever you see them in here but you have a bunch of them so you can make a lot of fields of uh, fuel generators those will be enough for plastic and rubber not to mention you got free just in here so look pure normal normal you could put in here a lot of a lot of stuff making rubber making the plastic everything that we will ever need plus you are in the middle of the map 
you have ex easy access to all the biomes, easy access to all the resources. It's beautiful. It's in a forest. In the nighttime, uh, you have these lantern trees that are putting light. All this stuff in here glows. These guys, it's just an amazing place to be. An amazing place to be, I'm telling you. So I'm thinking uh, starting up in there and then uh, making, look, these are the oil patches. Let me just get down in there. You see, this one is normal. This one is pure. There's another one around here. I don't see it right now. I don't want to scan for it, but it's fine. You got some water in here. You got more water uh, to the north side. So I'm thinking making like the starter factory in here. Um, just until we have enough concrete and enough plates. After that, we go vertical. Vertical and big. I mean, really big. Because we're gonna need a lot of space. So, if I put in here my shit, all the starter stuff, everything, I'll have in here, let's say I grab those two iron holes, we'll have a lot of plates and a lot of rods, everything that we need. After that, the copper as well, everything you need in the beginning, well, it's only copper sheets and I don't know what else, but it is what it is. We're gonna need a lot of concrete. We got this guy in here, which is normal. Just amazing. Guess what? We got a pure one in here. Remember, it doesn't count so much because in the beginning, you're limited by your minor mark one, so it's gonna be 60. This one is normal as well. We can grab it. Of course, this place will become filled up with machineries. But after that, we'll go above the trees in here. Just like here -ish. and this will be the first level of our base okay put some huge pillars in the ground concrete because i want to have it supported not like i've been building until now and this is really beautiful here and um if we we're gonna need something from i don't know the other end uh, of the map like i don't know what could we need in here the quartz okay so i want to bring the quartz from there no problem from here i go with the highway until there and i'm bringing the quartz with belts with uh, a tractor with something I don't care it's gotta be a highway so I want to make exactly what I did for that train in there like that for everything that I am going to transport so I will bring the quartz up on that platform and then transport it with my tractors eventually with the train need be or at least I, I could do it with mark 5 belts in the beginning we won't have those mark 5 belts but it's gonna be just amazing i think this is the way to go and i wanna increase the production of whatever i'm building so that i will not be lacking the means to produce anything i want for these guys when i come to that time basically for example uh right now i've kind of struggled with the rockets why because i didn't had um modular engines i don't want that to happen again okay i want to have plenty look these batteries i want to put drones all over we are making here 40 batteries per minute that it's enough for what we need but we only have two drones working if i'm gonna have like 50 i'm gonna need a lot more berries and i'm planning to bring resources from all over the place if i need them of course if i don't need them we will not need them and that's it 
Now, I think it's about high time we get back to our base because we're missing like uh, 14 pieces for that uh, magnetic magigi. And I think that we will be able to send the phase four. Yeah, meet you guys back in there. Apparently we're missing eight pieces right now. I think we're gonna be fine with this. So yeah, I wanna eliminate all this mess that we see here. For me, it's fine, it's pretty organized. I can find my place most of the time, but I don't wanna do that fix mess again. So that one will not be there. Uh, that one will not be there because it's fixed mess. Yeah, this one, it's nice. It's a nice concept. It's very nice made. I mean, I have a few shells of production as you can well see, but I would like to have it mega factory like and we will keep that platform. I'm thinking something like this big, you know, like that. First level storage for ingots. Second level, wait a second, are those full? Yeah, they're full. Nuclear pasta must be full as well. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, at the second level, I want to start putting down some constructors, making basically what we're making here, you know, like these guys, they're making rods, these guys are making screws, these guys are making plates, these guys, actually this is the secondary production line, our first production line is in here, but I want to make it with lights, you know, and I want to have a bunch of these boxes in front of them. Not only one, I want to have like four or five so that I will be able to increase the production for these guys as much as I need in order to pick from these boxes and bring them to the next level just to build something else, you know, or transport them or just transport the ingots from downstairs upstairs just to make, I don't know. The reinforced is based one, but let's say modular frames. Those modular frames are right in here. Quite messy, okay, but pretty big. You could easily make this only with the assemblers because you already have a bunch of these plates. You already have a bunch of these screws, okay? After that, it's easy. You make the reinforced plates, if you didn't have made them already, a bunch of them, and then just put up some of this and make your module frames. And here we have five making 10 per minute. Down there is the same stuff making 10 per minute. So easy peasy. So in total, we're making it two, four, five, with five in here, 10. And here we're making 10, just the same stuff, uh, just arranged differently. If you think about it, it's not that much of a production. So instead of having in there only two constructor for my own needs, because I use a lot of plates uh, for building and you know, for foundations and for everything, you will have those two plus guess what? Eight. Okay. And the eight down below. So 16. Uh, I would like to have access to my blueprints as soon as possible and just make a chain of these guys. Okay, so I will have like, I don't know, let's see, 10 of them working at stop or 20 just to make plates. These are the smelters, not a good example. These are the one making the plates. So 10 of them making plates non stop, 10 of them making screws non stop. 10 of them making iron rods and stuff. Uh, 10 of these assemblers making um, the reinforced plates and stuff. So on and so forth. And I would like to put it in such a way that it will be easy to upgrade the later. Because if, let's say, this box, this foundation 
it's your square. If you start putting them like this, the crates, uh, it will be somewhat easy to pick them and bring them upstairs. But you have actually to transport them to the outside. So I don't know exactly why am I gonna do that, but I'll have to think about it, how to do it. Because I wanna produce everything that it's in here. And I mean, just about everything. I will not producing alien protein, that's for sure. But the rest of them, I want to produce and start. I don't know still about the fluids, if I should put them up or leave them on the ground. But everything that is solid, I want it in there. It's logical that at some point, you will need fluids in your life. For example, here at phase four, we used a lot of gases and a lot of fluids. It will be nice to have them all in one spot in here. So when we go, get to phase four, probably we're gonna be like five, six stories. Just put another story and bring everything up with pumps because at that time you have uh, the Mark II pump Maybe they're going to invent the Mark III pump. Just change, change, Jesus, change them up. Ten of them, that will be fine. Nevertheless, our objective phase four is complete. Uh, I think I will delete this poll because we're not going to need it for now. Let's send it. Last one. Employee of the planet. <laughs> you got the golden mug. Really love it. Man, this animation. There it goes. Guys. We just completed phase four. We finished the game. Let me get in here. Because this one is done as well. Oh. Eh. Okay, it doesn't matter. We just completed phase four. That thing, I don't know if it's coming down again. That's pretty interesting. Never thought about it. Oh, it is coming. Hmm, very interesting. So it is coming. Okay. Is there anything else to be done in here? Oh, think so. No, unavailable in early access. So maybe we're going to have another phase. I would really like that. Imagine if right now it's madness. What's going to be at phase five? Because we know, we are sure that things are coming. Your minor Mark III uh, puts up 900. Your Mark V belt only transports 780. We have those Majigis superposition oscillators and stuff uh, that we found in the calendar. Look at this. Superposition oscillator. Okay. Teleportation technology and dimensional manipulation i mean it sounds just amazing can barely wait to to do this this guy quantum computer what does it take to build one of this i mean what exactly does it take to build one of this i mean it's just amazing only issue that i have with that mega factory is just gonna eat a lot of power okay so at this point, we have in here our uh, coal. We're going to need a lot more of this in the beginning until we're going to have access to our fuel. And I don't want to rush it to get to the fuel. Okay. So we have four sets of them. We're going to need a lot more than this. This come from two nodes, as you can see. I don't even know what kind of miners those are and what are we putting. Remember, nothing. This one it's only pushing 240. This one 240. 
probably it's in impure node it's a normal node in this one it's a pure node so in here we could have another 60 and here we can have another 240 and another 60 so basically only with these two guys i can have a lot more power let's see how much power are they putting delete that line we have in here 2400 megawatts amazing amazing enough for the first shelf <laughs> i think it's gonna be just amazing but luckily so this is one pure one normal with a mark two if you come in here at we already established this will be our next startup zone look what you got in here pure normal pure pure okay so these guys in here uh, if you bring us somewhere where you have water uh, I, no not the swamp in here because in here you will be able to put a bunch of those extractors or in here or in here in here not so many but in here you'll be able to put a, a lot of them because you need a lot of them look two four six eight ten twelve the rest you can put it on the foundation but we will be able to power our factory with coal very easily i believe especially that now we have the flight mode it's just amazing it makes things so much easier not necessarily to traverse the land when i'm going out there i like to use my jetpack it feels more more fluid more natural better to me i feel a lot better if i'm going in the jetpack but for building flight mode because even with that flight machine that we have ain't good enough flight mode is the best thing ever for building if i build a ground level not only it's hard for me but a lot of times it's impossible for you guys to get the picture of what i'm doing you know so yeah guys i think we're gonna leave this episode and this series in here uh i feel good about what we accomplished in here i feel very good that we have no nuclear waste hey yeah i i, I did it i did it somehow it's done so my tasks are all done I don't know about yours, but mine are done. I think we're gonna leave this episode and the series in here. Gonna miss the trees into the next one, but it is what it is. Don't forget to put a like, comment, subscribe if you like it and if you wanna see more. And let me down, let me know down in the comments what, how should we make our mega factory? I mean, never did one. I have no idea how to do it if you have any ideas let me down in the comment how to begin with how to end with it because i don't know on the other hand don't forget i'm not the guy that will waste a lot of resources so my machinery will have to work not stop because i want my power line to be straight Everything that is produced extra than the storage or what it is used, it will get synced. We'll have a billion bunch of points and it's going to be just amazing, trust me. So yeah, looking forward to starting a new series. Thank you guys so much for being here. Love you. See you into the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye desert base. I'm gonna delete the save, by the way. Bye now.